So the bit deck over the championship leg one is next and yes you are seeing this correct 28 runners on the all weather luckily it's on a straight track at Southall but it's still too many and I think it's going to be one of the problems of the handicapping being done by automatically by the computer because there's far too many horses qualified for this at 0 to 100 and really as the all weather championship it ought to be 0 to 80 or 0 to 90 anyway so it's a bit of a silly race this one as we've got all the top trainers in it when really this series is set up for the lower ones and it's driving viper for dan hughes at the top the beekeeper leon van rinsburg bellevue harrell for darren thompson fine wine for red eyes and a dester for james shea living legend ryan tamasebi Schwazon blofeld for thomas rogers salamo stefano a winner last time out for alex ince pack hunter joshua sutherland jeans holy david robertson which read telegraph james shea sweets carlotti david hooley matchy ryan costello royal castle jim murray scrappy tuesday ryan costello Hello, Cherokee Warrior Chief Paul Rhodes, Lemonade Joshua Sutherland, Monsignor Jim Murray, Ruby Paul Rhodes, BN Group, Mike Westwood Intruder, Craig Beckwith, Hack Uzi, Armacure, Silencia and Gail Powers for Alex Cherry, Misty Mirage and Who Far, Ted for Graham Clutterbuck, Manassas Wiseman for Thomas Rogers and Jucinda Posh for Mike Westwood. Apologies already if I don't get your horse's name in, in the race, but five furlongs, 28 runners, probably not going to happen. Away they go then, and... And Manassas Wiseman was quickly out down on this near side intruder. It's probably just about the leader. Gail Powers are on the far side, but it looks like BN Group is also going pretty well. Jim Murray's got one up in the lead on both sides of the track to make it even more confusing. <laughs> I don't know which one's which, Monsignor and Royal Castle. I think Monsignor is the one down this side because that one is in the lead. BN Group up the centre of the track with Gail Powers. Royal Castle is over on the far side. The Grey is Misty Mirage and the Dester is closer. One or two out the back three greys right out the back as well they're already down to the final two furlongs and monsignor is in the lead from gale powers and bn group not over on the far side is royal castle misty mirage monsignor still the leader with monsignor in front though as they race down towards the final furlong monsignor's in the lead bn group going well gale powers going well witchery telegraph is flying so to his cherokee warrior chief it's witchery telegraph over on the far side but cherokee warrior chief has burst through to take it and cherokee warrior chief wins it witchery telegraph is second you cinder posh third then jeans holy and ruby Manassas Wiseman and there you go Paul Rhodes has taken it so the top trainer on the flat lands the all with a championship which I always thought was meant to be for the lower trainers anyway not Paul's fault it's not 100 handicap today it really shouldn't be and the winner is Cherokee Warrior Chief for Paul Rhodes, Witchery Telegraph for James Shea was second, Jucinda Posh for Mike Westwood was third, Jeans Holy for David Robertson fourth, and Ruby for Paul Rhodes was fifth. Goodness knows how many ever qualified for the final, probably the first three.